One of the things we committed to in the Transport Decarbonisation Plan was a, a policy called Commute Zero. And so over the next uh, 12 to 18 months, we'll be working closely with companies like Mobility Ways, uh, Lift Share, uh, employer groups, um, amongst others, to, to understand how we in government can help to re remove the barriers to employers doing more. DERF is unique. It's one of the largest logistics facilities in the UK. It's completely centrally located next to the M1, M6, A14 corridor. So it's ideally suited to serve the whole of the logistics market um, in the UK. The other unique USP about DERF is that of rail connectivity. We have multiple rail terminals on site, already receiving 12 trains a day. Um, that's only going to grow over the next few years. That's another part of um, reducing carbon footprint and getting to net zero. We want to hear about what employers are doing to respond to climate change and how they are helping to reduce emissions from commuters. So our customers are fundamentally the most important people to us. Without them, we don't have a business. So if we can help solve some of our customers' pain points, which may be trying to get employees to work, um, to help broaden their, their recruitment areas that they can, they can, they can pull from, um, that's, that's a real positive to help them out. The recruitment market and labour market in general has shrunk recently. Transport into the area is a big problem. Getting people from further afield has become more and more difficult. I think number one is to provide better transport to our existing colleagues. Um, helping them reduce their emissions is a, is a big thing as well. I think also extending that to other colleagues that we could potentially recruit and bring on board. Uh, one big thing that we get asked a lot is do we provide transport into sites and unfortunately we have to say no. If that's something that we could use as a selling point of we can help you come to site, that would open up the doors to a, a lot more people. Zelo are here talking to Prologis and Durf to really support their customers by putting on private transportation that complements public transport, particularly where it's underserved for shift times or potential routes, but also helping that social mobility aspect and more sustainable travel by promoting mass transit modal shift. The sustainability angle, mostly for us, that's why Zelo exists, but we're working with a number of organisations at the moment to really help on the recruitment drive. Uh, in what's such a tough labour market at the moment, we're finding people are going further afield to recruit. Further afield they're going, the more broken public transport links are, so it's giving them better access to employment. Commuter emissions, um, everything relating to sustainability, race to net zero, is at the forefront of our business. Um, whether that be through embodied carbon in our buildings, operational carbon, reducing that, getting to net zero. Um, it's just the next logical part to try and help solve as getting people to work um, in a very sustainable way um, rather than individual commuters. I think I'm just really um, energised that employers are looking at this in so many different ways. So it's not just about reducing emissions from the commute, which is really important and, and one of my primary interests here, but, but it's also about access to talent, it's about reducing operational costs, it's about being more competitive, it's about being able to um, give a fully rounded offer to different employment groups as well. So hearing from Zelo about some of their clients and how they access a more diverse range of talent by being off, able to offer a commute into employment as well as the job. Bringing everybody here together today to, to even have these discussions and, and open up the avenues um, it is a massive benefit. The data collection piece is absolutely at the forefront of this. Without that data we can't make meaningful choices and we can't invest in the right in the right places and get the, the most for our money get the most benefit out of whatever whatever subsidies we have available um, and we can't design the schemes to to achieve that without all that data so that data collection piece is, is really important for us well i think just understanding um, the opportunity to use data um, and not in a scary, you know, knowing everything about people sort of way, but just understanding some basic employment data and what that can unlock in terms of solutions and how easy they are to implement. And, and to sit in a meeting listening to employer groups talk about making decisions over a time frame of weeks rather than months and years, that's quite exciting. And actually, if we can, if we can help uh, draw attention to, to these sorts of conversations, maybe it will inspire more people and more companies to do the same.